In the uh, 2011 municipal election in Vancouver, Honorable Speaker, a uh, single individual, Rob McDonald, contributed $960,000 to the Nonpartisan Association. And it wasn't for just anybody, Honorable Speaker. That don donation went directly to the campaign of the current Attorney General when she was running for mayor at the time for the city of Vancouver. And I think that's a very important detail um, because I'm trying hard, Honorable Speaker, to understand why this government has not given the power to the city of Vancouver under the Vancouver Charter to implement municipal finance reform. And I, I agree, actually, with uh, the member who rose and spoke and said this is a very Vancouver-centric problem. It is a Vancouver-centric problem. And fortunately, because Vancouver is, uh, in many ways, has, has many uh, unique issues, they have the Vancouver Charter. It would be very easy for this government to amend the Vancouver Charter to fix this problem, but they have chosen not to do that. So when there is a member, Honourable Speaker, on the other side of the House who has received what may be the largest municipal campaign finance donation in the history of the province, possibly in Canada, and that same government, uh, her government, is not putting limits in place on campaign donations in the city of Vancouver, not giving Vancouver the ability to do that for themselves, I think that's very troubling. And I'll use the words, uh, I'll quote here from uh, uh, City of Vancouver Councillor Andrea Reimer, quote, the $960,000 donation from a single corporation was a shocker, even in Vancouver. What I've learned from that is that in the absence of rules, be prepared to be shocked. And I think many people were shocked. And they continue to be shocked because Vancouver has seen the donations for municipal elections climb 175% in the last eight years. And why are those eight years important, Honourable Speaker? It's important because it was in 2005 when the City of Vancouver first asked for the power to regulate campaign donations, to put limits on those do donations, to put limits on spending around municipal elections. And since then, they have asked not one time, not twice, not three times, not four times, not five times. They've asked this government six times for this authority to regulate these kinds of donations. And still this government doesn't act. Still we see legislation coming forward that doesn't address this issue. It is a shame. And frankly, as we go into yet another election without any rules, it is an outrage to the people of the city of Vancouver that they are living in essentially the autobahn of elections, where there are no rules, there are no limits, there are no speed limits, there are no donation limits. Integrity BC came forward and they, they went to Vancouver Civic Parties and they said, well, in the absence of, a, of government action, because clearly you've, you've come forward six times in eight years, you've asked the government over and over, they're not giving you the power to regulate these things. Will you agree to set your own election spending and donation limits. Uh, uh, the NPA in the last election spent $2.5 million in the election, a million dollars of that from a single donor. Vision Vancouver, $2.2 million in the last municipal election. And these numbers aren't going down, Honourable Speaker, as I said, up 175%. And I'm going to quote uh, this time from the NPA uh, Executive Coordinator, uh, Natasha Westover who said, quote, we feel that it has to be legislated to bind all the parties to the same rules. We feel that it has to be legislated to bind all the parties to the same rules. And that's reasonable, Honorable Speaker, to ask the government to step forward, to have both parties who spent the most money come forward and say, please set some rules so that we have some predictability, so that we can run a fair election. And yet this government continues to let them down. Honourable Speaker, I heard uh, some uh, what could only be described as confusing math uh, from the other side about, about spending in Vancouver compared to spending uh, in other jurisdictions. Um, here, are some, here are some great examples. In Brandon, Manitoba, there is a $16,000 limit for a candidate running to be mayor. $16,000. In Toronto's Ward 7, there is a $27,464 limit for a candidate running for councillor there. 
The spending limit for the mayor of Mississauga, a city just 1,000 registered voters short of the size of Vancouver, the spending limit for that uh, mayoral position was $319,664 in 2010. Now keep in mind in Mississauga, uh, as an individual donor, you're limited to a donation of no more than $750 to any one candidate. So in order to raise the amount that a single donor in Vancouver gave, a single donor, you would need 1,280 people to donate the maximum in that city to equal that one single donation. Now, I, I love being in the West, Honorable Speaker, and I love our image of the Wild West, but I don't understand why it is that this government insists that we be the Wild West of elections in an area free of limits and rules on do campaign donations and spending in the city of Vancouver. And I ask them and I urge them to fix this problem not tomorrow, not next year, not eight years from now, but immediately. Thank you, Honorable Speaker.